Hi everyone and welcome to our first week of Microsoft Word. I hope you got a great introduction to Microsoft Excel. Looking at our progress, we're all doing quite well. So let's see what Word is all about. So our training module is for creating and modifying a flyer. I'm gonna walk you through this because we don't have a computer concepts question in this week, or lecture this week. So we have 55 tasks to create this flyer, and we're ready to go. So we need to make a new blank document. We see a document here. This is Microsoft Word. This is our ribbon, built similar to Excel, where we have the backstage view of file, home, insert, design, layout, etc. So to do a new blank, we're going to go to File. And we're going to go blank document. And now we're going to test the start word. So on our Windows desktop, we're going to hit the, this is Windows 10. We're going to we can start it right here from the taskbar. And now we're going to use a search box to find a particular item in our document. So our tasks go all over the place. So we're gonna use the text insert chart in the search box to get help on inserting a chart, second option and get help from insert chart text. So insert here we want to type insert chart. Then we have a bunch of charts we can install. I wasn't doing what I was asking me to do, so I'll try again. Insert chart. So, what I didn't do is go to get help on. And I was supposed to choose that. And I'll try again. Sorry about this. So now I have 10 results instead of one from before. And it wants us to choose the second option. And we've done it. So it was a little flaky there working with the interface. We want to customize our quick access toolbar. We want to add the copy button to our quick access toolbar. So when I took us around our ribbon, I didn't show us this, which is our quick access toolbar. And this little down arrow, if we click it, it lets us customize this. So we're going to add the copy button. So we have new, open, email, quick print. We don't see it, so let's go more commands. And copy. We're going to click it and hit add. And OK. Now we're going to change our margins. Again, we're jumping all over the place. So we're changing the document's margins to the normal settings. So a lot of times it's best to just click and see what we're dealing with or running over our documents and seeing. So insert, we know is it going to get us to where we want to change margins. So if we look at insert, we see cover, page, blank page, page break, insert a table, pictures, shapes, icons, models, smart art. We see links and bookmarks and cross references, which we'll be doing in class. But we don't see what we need for margins. So we're going to go to design. And we have themes and styles 
and spacing and effects. We can put a watermark on our page. We're going to go to layout and our first option is margins. So we're going to choose it by just clicking and normal is our first option. We're going to delete text in this extra size. So for the first body paragraph, we need to find streamlining, streamlining, and. So we're looking at our example here. 